Don't be so awkward, dude. I was doing it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Alrighty, so I came out here earlier today uh, and got a couple things done. Well, I shouldn't say a couple things done, got one thing done. Got the AN line tightened up and ran for the horns. So as you can see, ran back there to a P-clamp uh, through this hole that was already in the frame. I got some heat shrink on there to make it all nice and not rub through. I went to the previous routing for all the wires, got it hooked up there. Connect it there, all the way back. A couple more P-clamps on the frame. And all connected. So, yeah, looks good. All tightened down and we're ready to make some air. Carlton is actually coming out right now to wire up the compressor. So wire up the compressor, wire up the pressure switch, and he is going to wire up the horns, finalize them. So as you saw, we had an issue with the key uh, creating enough power to hit the solenoid. One way that we're going to try to combat that is using a relay. So I went and got a relay today, smaller than our 80 amp ones, and we're going to try that. Should work fine. Uh, I got the compressor wired. Okay. The relay. Final wiring, right? That's yeah. all zip tied up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're going to attach it to the throttle, throttle cable. cable. There so we go. It pulls it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, horn is hooked up because if we do get this working, if it does work, which it should, then we're going to honk it. Okay. And then rewire it. It's not, the horn is not hooked up to this button though. It's hooked up to this one right now. Just yeah. for. It's like one of these. Quickness sake. Oh, what was that? Right. We've got a little bit of leak in our roof. We need you guys to uh, continue <laughs> to buy some merch so we can fix this. <laughs> so we can fix the roof. roof. It's, currently it's in the leaking zone. a little bit. Just working on the electronics. In the <laughs> All right. So you're going to hear the horn click again. Okay. Was that a little baby? I think I heard something. There's a little PSI in there. Woo! Ready? Air? Air is there. Oh, yeah, dude. So yeah, like we were saying, uh, the only thing is we don't have a pressure gauge on there. So it's a little sketchy because we don't know exactly what pressure it's going to get to and if the switch is actually going to work without visually seeing 150 psi so yeah. hopefully it shuts off it is That's... an amazon pressure switch so. yeah it's not too loud it's overheated well i don't think it's overheated your wiring worked we might god we might it's not gonna get too hot it's good should be okay oh yeah i mean that was f the full zero to 150 Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. And you got to think about it. It has all these fins for air yeah, pulling cool. when we're driving. All right, there it is. Well, that's the pull, though. Yeah. Okay, you want to do the honors? Just got to remember to turn it off and turn it back on. Right? I got it. Yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it's the loud, honors. dude. I might put ear, earplugs on. Okay, just remember you got to turn it. Hold on. Just remember you're going to have to turn it off. Okay, you ready? To blow the fuse. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Scared to just press buttons. What was that? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Dude! <laughs> This switch panel has a, uh... oh, dude, that's delay. so loud. There was no delay that time. Oh my God. So this switch panel uh, straight from China has a momentary option and we have it set up to be momentary on the horn. Well, it's not set up yet, but that's how it will be set up. Maybe that's where we had problems. Last well, time. yeah, I think we're going to be okay this time, but that is loud, dude. It's really loud. It was louder than using the compressor. Yeah. Holy shit. Sweet. Sweet. Got a train horn for no reason. <laughs> or onboard air. That's why we really did it. Yeah. So. Cool, dude. Sweet. All right. Time to wire more.
I don't know, dude. I think you should just quit your day job and be a full time wire guy. Yeah. Full time wiring. It's pretty dang good. I mean, probably could have done a little bit better, but. <laughs> Oh man, no, it turned out awesome. As always, thank you. It looks good. I take absolute no, don't do that. <laughs> I take absolutely zero credit for anything that has to do with wiring on this thing. I don't think I have done a single thing with the wiring, which is a good thing because it works. Nice, good call, dude. Good call. All right, so one, two, it's on. Let's just check this real quick. Okay, that means, it's, so that means it's maxed so out. I technically don't know if the compressor's working. We just think. I can't run it. Yeah, there's no way to check it. Did you switch that to momentary? No. You didn't? No, I haven't done anything good. Okay. Oh, Toast, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I forgot you were in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God, that's so loud. Oh, I'm sorry, Toast. I feel bad. Toast, <laughs> you look at me What the hell was that? <laughs> Next up, body. So front can completely go on. Rear can completely go on. And after that, we got headlights and taillights. Now, the only different thing that we need to do is when we mocked up these headlights and taillights, as you guys saw at Royce's, is we were using Clecos for the fact that we were planning on riveting them in. However with how these housings are i mean they're pretty i i'm just gonna say that they're brittle and i think that if we toss a rivet in this sucker it's gonna break i don't think that this plastic's very strong and i think it's gonna break so we should probably do some hardware and of course we don't have anything that's gonna work well I don't know, I just don't want a chance putting a rivet in it and it cracking it, and then it looks like shit. So I'm probably gonna have to run to the store and grab some hardware, but uh, we can at least get stuff set in place to be able to be wired, so. all good to go except for the lights uh fronts are on including the lights so this turned out good uh rivets did work that plastic was a lot thicker than i than i thought when i really looked at it it worked uh however it didn't work on the rear as you can see we did, tried once and it pulled through basically as you can see these are curved and it creates a pretty good gap from the hole on the light to the hole in the body so that's not gonna work carlton's looking upstairs he thought he might have some small black hardware that he's looking for um if not worst case gotta run to lowe's and grab some 316s like inch and a half long stuff with some nuts and uh, make that work we are pretty dang close to moving on to the light harness and the seat warmers everything so underglow kit so it's the next day um, and I got the taillights fully done. So I had to go to the store last night and get the correct hardware. However, we're all done there. Nuts and uh, washers and locking washers all done. All tires off the wheel. That'll be fun to air up. Yeah, so that's all done. Rear's in. It's got some stains on the black plastic, so that kind of sucks because I already washed that. So it kind of looks like crap, but maybe I can clean it up some more um next up would be the harness for the lights which carlton's going to work on as well as the underglow so that's next you guys are about to see it Alrighty, carlton's working on getting the headlights and taillights all wired up unfortunately the nut that we had for the back of this choke cable uh, is not the same on the old choke cable cable and the new one so we can't put that in yet. Uh, while he's doing that, I am working on 
mounting the underglow, aka rock lights. The thing that sucks is that we're using them as um, underglow, but the wire comes out right in the middle and it makes it a lot more difficult to mount. So as you can see, I'm working on the first one and I'm actually putting it right there. You can see that hole up there. That's where it's gonna go. The other ones I have to do brackets for and the back one, we're gonna get a little finicky with some stuff, but it'll work. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. So working on that and then we'll get that, uh, or Carlton, we'll get that wired up after this. Fuse box number two. We think the same issue happened as before, as you guys saw that it's a Chinese fuse box and it's obviously can't handle what we're doing because Carlton has the wiring perfect. Everything's immaculate. And right now the compressor has got, if we go to measure that with the key off and the negative on, you're gonna have 12 volts going to the compressor with the key off. Makes no sense. Don't know what to do. But as you can tell, when we turn the key, the horn goes, the lights flicker, and the compressor turns off, turns on, even though the switch is off. It does get more voltage once you hit the switch on. You wanna hear the horn again? So, long story short. It wasn't doing that before. It was, yeah, correct. Yeah. So it's really cool. It was something that happened literally out of the blue. I mean, it just started doing it. It doesn't make any sense. And the only thing we keep going back to is, is the fuse box. Cause this happened last time we got the new fuse box in and we got it all figured out. And now it's doing the same exact thing that it did before. And it's really messing with everything, all yeah. the wiring. And so the other, the other thing too is I tested the other fuse box and there's a short in the box. Yeah. Because it, you can test from the voltage side on like switch three and on switch two's fuse, there's continuity between the two. Yep. So that just tells me that something's wrong in the, yeah. Yep. In the fuse boxes, they're just cheap. They're cheap. It's, it is, don't get me wrong, it's, it's nice, it looks nice, and I really, really like it, and I really want it to work. Um, but as you guys know, this is the second one, and this is the only thing that we've been having issues with on this thing, and it's, it's been a real pain in the ass. So I don't know if I go and look for a different brand, um, try a different brand maybe, or something, I don't know, but we're gonna deal with that down the road.